From this moment on, you will now be known as Sharkbait. Sharkbait, ooh ha ha! Welcome, brother Sharkbait. Sharkbait, ooh ha ha! Enough of the Sharkbait. Sharkbait, ooh, bop, bop. What's up, everybody? This is D giving you an update on the growth since the beginning of the How We Dose and What We Dose project starring the Kent Marine Products. And I just want to say, first and foremost, before you ask, if you ask, just in case you ask, Kent Marine has not sponsored me in any way. I pay for all my stuff because I don't get no free rides. I do what I do because I like to do it. And with that being said, the answer in short, uh, well, before I give you the answer is, I'll give you a recap. Now, many of you that watch my videos already know that D is already a doser of the two part, basically the calcium and the alkalinity products that supply the nutrients and the uh, basic chemistry needed to raise coal and maintain pH and alkalinity in your tank and calcium. But uh, since getting these Kent products, I was really curious because I, uh, one of the guys, a really good friend of mine, was dosing a lot of the chemicals and he's relatively new to the hobby. And when I asked him, well, how much do you dose? Why do you dose? He really didn't know. And I was like wondering how many people dose the tanks and really don't know why they dose or what they dose. And a lot of these chemicals have the same elements as the other chemicals so if you're dosing one you don't always need to dose the other so I thought that was a really good topic for uh, starting you know this uh, this series in dosing I'm not a scientist I try to keep everything in layman's terms because I'm a layman I'm not a scientist it's just important that people understand why they do it and how to do it so that they can kind of be comfortable in getting good results and with that being said I uh, slowly moved over from my two part which is the bulk reef supply I move them to my little bottles because it's easier to store but my two part alkalinity and calcium and I started using the essential elements and the uh, Kent version which I'm leaving out the calcium portion the Kent calcium and the elemental uh, supplements here and I have to say the results in the last what has it been two and a half weeks have been pretty good let's take a look at the tank now I know it's hard to see because my lovely sea urchin is kind of in the way but if you guys look at that pavona which is already a fast grower and go back to my three week ago video that pavona was about a third of the size of the plug that it's on and now if you look at it now it is not only twice the size that it was a week ago but it is grown straight up in two different directions which is a testament to new growth I mean it is looking awesome and uh, I have to attribute that to adding the strontium and elemental supplement from the Kent Marine line of products because I was basically adding my own magnesium in addition to the regular two part but I started dosing the, the strontium and melabellum version to the tank which I've been doing every four days as instructed and I do see the difference I mean, basically, this has strontium, magnesium, potassium chloride, and a sodium molybdate. And if I said that wrong, it's because I'm human. So, uh, that might have been the missing element, as usually we do add strontium. I haven't been, but I dose the magnesium on regular. But in addition to the three part dosing system I have been using in the past, this adds potassium chloride and strontium chloride to the mix, which may be a uh, essential element in them growing. You know, I also notice if you look at these pallies, the pallies, you can't even see the plug anymore. And I'm going to probably have to move those <laughs> because they've grown right onto the egg crate. And, uh, you know, for new people that are watching, if you're like, man, that tank is uh, 
not as full as I would expect. That's because I constantly pull frags from this tank. I give to people that are starting. This tank was basically meant to be just a frag holder for pieces that I get out of the main tank. And uh, the focus is on coloration and growth. And then you move them. And uh, going into the Kent line, I have been noticing quite a bit of new growth. I mean, look at this chalice here. Uh, maybe I can shoot it from the top and look a little better, but if you look right here, if I can point it out here, if you look right there, look at the edges on that. Those two pieces of chalice, which were two pieces, completely overgrew each other in the last week and change, and there's new growth coming off the rock sideways. It's coming off the rock. If you look at this, these are doing the same thing. They overgrown each other in both directions and have completely laid over the egg crate so there's a lot of new growth uh, e I've even spotted a little uh, bonus zoa way in the back that I hadn't uh, noticed before and it's moving off the plug and onto the egg crate so you guys that uh, into your frags expect them to move they are animals they do move if they don't like something they will change it um, let's take a look at this. Look at the new growth right here. Pacillopora new growth. Purple tips, which I never even had before. The tips are purple. I always get the complaints from my daughter. Dad, everything looks green in the main tank. Like, you know, I thought it was the lights. I'm constantly uh, sitting back and looking at things from new angles because you know sometimes the little things you do make a big impact but definitely purple tips on this I have not changed my lights I use the Ocean Revive the old series Ocean Revive not the digital ones had them a long time now but definitely no arguing the purple tips on this now this Fabia is a little angry because I moved it. I had to re-glue it because my clownfish likes to sleep there. And actually, I don't know if I scared him, but he banged it so hard that it looked like it was it was loose from the rock. So I kind of pissed it off a little bit and I had to re-glue it. But it's recovering nicely. They're growing one on each other. I don't anticipate any coral warfare. But with the mention of coral warfare, look at the amount of encrusting from this pavona it is completely engulfed this side of the rock around the candy cane completely encrusted all of this right here is new this is growing upward now if any of you keep pavona it usually grows like this <laughs> it grows like that this is the first time that i've noticed it encrusting and that was from a piece because I moved this piece about, uh, I want to say is about eight, nine months ago, maybe more. It used to sit here and I thought it was a little low in the water column. So I moved it up. There was just a remnant from it have being placed here and it completely turned into a whole new colony. But since changing the dosing methods, and adding that other part of the uh, Kent Marine. And uh, actually, I'm not going to say Kent Marine's the best thing since sliced bread, but it's knowing how to utilize a product and utilizing it correctly. Um, it's definitely increased the growth. And if you don't believe me, let's swing over here without making you dizzy. There's another piece that I had in an earlier video that I said, look, it fell from this colony up here, a little piece while I was cleaning, and this has completely in grown onto the rock next to it and covered that whole piece of egg crate, and that's in the last week and a half. If you don't believe me, go back to my last video where I show it, last week and a half, you can see the egg crate. This is now growing up the rock. <laughs> So, if I ever had the idea of removing this egg crate, it's going to be a big problem. Um, yeah, so that's the case. It's doing very well. Um, this piece of fabia is up and down. It's hard to film because it's more of a white piece. But um, on a one-on-one, -on -one, I only used a little bit of the essential elements because most of this... In this portion, I'm trying to play with the light here. 
trace elements I don't really play with a lot because A, there's no way of measuring them, and B, I don't know how much of the other elements like strontium and magnesium are also included in this. And usually, there you go, usually they're the same. See, if you look at this, manganese, magnesium, calcium chloride, lithium chloride, potassium. See, now, if we go back to the other one, which was the listed as strontium and malabenum, what do we see familiar? Magnesium, strontium, potassium, chloride. So you got to read the labels, people. I know we're in the age of smartphones and things talking to us, so we don't like to read. But you could be greatly overdosing your aquarium by dosing the same elements two and three times over, which basically is overdosing the aquarium. So I've been using the strontium and the liquid calcium, and I have been still using my alkalinity and measuring it because there's no alkalinity portion that I have anyway. I'm sure they have an alkalinity portion, but I've been using my uh, regular bulk reef supply alkalinity, which I have right here in my bottle. I've not changed the dosage, but I've just eliminated the calcium portion because I'm dosing the liquid calcium. And the growth is noticeable. Uh, look at this color. I'm going to try to get you a top shot because I think the top shot of this tank is probably does it the best justice. All right. This is where you really see the difference in color. Now when my wave maker stops, look at that. There is no arguing color. Color, 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 and growth. You got a little uh, Monty back there. You got a chalice back there. Look at the color in this Pavano when it's next to, oh wow, wait a minute. I just realized something. Purple mushrooms have grown all the way around the other side of that rock and I didn't notice that. I saw these yesterday, one, two, three, four, but I didn't notice that they're going all the way down the side of this rock. <laughs> okay, that's a beautiful surprise, and look at the color. The color is spot on. Pretty, pretty, pretty picture. Um, look at those zoas, once my wave maker. And for all of you, before you ask, I'm going to keep the video short, so I'm not going to go into a lot. There's my circulation pump. It is a swirl that I got from my aquarium box. Mr. Mike, thank you, thank you, thank you. I've been using it for what? You sent me this, I subscribed a year ago. I've been using this in addition to my WP, I mean my WP40 JBO, which just basically blows into my refugium box and circulates that. But look at the circulation in there. It breaks up the surface of the water and there's no dead spots, it turns. So you guys that are killing the tanks with circulation. This is all I got on my return pump. And the results speak for themselves. I'm not killing the tank with circulation. I'm just agitating the surface and keeping the water flowing. Remember from that near tank crash, no more problems. I definitely attribute that to overdosing caulk. So if you guys are dosing caulk, be very, very quiet and be very, very careful because <laughs> that cork can kill you. But this is an update on the tank. I'm gonna wrap it up. Everything is looking really good. Can't complain. I'm gonna keep monitoring. I'm gonna keep you on the next video. I'm gonna do more with the parameters. Um, I may have to pull back this waving zinnia because I have a crap load of zoas in the back and I can't even see them anymore. So in the last week, this definitely grew and it's growing towards my Pavona. It's gonna be time to get the old tweezers out and pluck this bad boy. So this is D signing off with a Sunday swim. Update of the tank, everything's looking awesome. Kent Marine, doing a good job. If anybody from Kent wants to leave a comment in below, maybe I'm missing something. Maybe there's a piece of the puzzle that I missed as far as the dosing. Leave your comments below. What it comes down to is don't dose anything when you don't know why or how much to dose. Know why you're dosing it, keep notes, keep tabs on your levels, and measure your tank parameters. I can't just say that enough. 
people are doing things they have no idea why they're doing it. You're just dosing it because they hear the term dose, so they dose. They don't know what they're dosing or why. So I'm going to be out, everybody. Click subscribe. Click that like, thumbs up. Love, peace, and hair grease. I'm out, baby. See ya.